the main features. I would like to highlight that the Aventador for us in Lamborghini and especially for our design DNR is one of the most important projects because this car is related to all the mid-engine cars that started in the 70s with the famous design of Marcello Gandini, the Countach. And this car is a clear statement, the new Aventador for the future. But we are, when, you, when I explain you the car, you see some details that are guiding back to the original Countach. So for example, first of all, the general design theme is following the classical uh, mono line uh, of the Countach of the Aventador, the line that Lamborghini is uh, very famous for. We have a very slim uh, body, very uh, aesthetically, very muscular and a lot of shape of the car. What we have done here, for example, we have emphasized the mid-engine of the car. We have a lot of power and we wanted to visualize this. The body side of the car is much more pure. So for example, we took off these air plates here. So all these lines are much more puristic, much more clean, but also they gain more aerodynamic. Uh, what I like a lot personally is this line here. Uh, this line is really dedicated to the original Countach line. So the Countach was having this line angled forward and we were repeating this line, but we did a modern in, uh, interpretation for the Aventador. Another thing here, we wanted to be lightweight with the car, but also we wanted to be more powerful. So we have here a new styled air intake that is also uh, optically related to the original Countach. Our designers, took a lot of inspiration from aeroplanes. Uh, when you look at the rear of the car, everything is very, very uh, aerodynamic. We have a new exhaust pipe uh, with a complete different shape. The idea here is coming from spaceships, from space shuttles. When you look at the exhaust pipe of a space shuttle, uh, the exhaust pipe of the Aventador S is reminding a lot. What I like as well is here, everything is much more puristic, all the lines of the rear are uh, coming together, yeah, so we have one single frame. Uh, all the parts here are black. Um, we have, in the old car we had here, just two air outlets. Now we have combined them uh, also like on a Miura. So it's a th design theme that is much more wider and much more puristic. And also here, down, down here, we have worked a lot on the diffuser. Diffuser is much more higher, uh, but also uh, from an aerodynamic point of view, much more efficient. When we go to the front of the car, of course here it is very significant, the change of the car. All the lines are dedicated to have a much wider look. So we are still having the main features of the Aventador, but also the features that are really important uh, for the design DNA of Lamborghini. For me it's important to uh, explain the peak of the center of the car. This is a feature that is very significant for Lamborghini. And here, the new design theme of the front is very significant. Uh, it's very clear that this is the new Aventador. Also here, we've got some inspirations. Our designers got some inspirations by uh, snakes. And when you look at this teeth here, it's very aggressive and it's very significant. All the lines are white and we spent a lot of time also with the wind tunnel to emphasize the aerodynamics of the car. Aventador S is the follower of Aventador, a big success of the Lamborghini. And in this car we have decided, first of all, to uh, increase the power, the output of the car to 740 horsepower. And uh, we have uh, introduced for the first time in a production car, the rear wheel, rear wheel steering system of Lamborghini and a completely new system of controlling of a chassis that we call LDVA. Powertrain is a heart of our car and for this reason we treat it in a special way. We have our V12 naturally aspirated that is still able to generate much more power of what was the previous version. We achieve a 740 horsepower with an increase of the volumetric efficiency, some optimization of the cam phase and also an increase of the speed of the engine. But we work also in the powertrain, in the gearbox, introducing a completely new software that make realize a better matching between a gearbox and engine. And in this way, we are able to smooth the shifting in the, in the strada mode and to have much more faster and precise shifting in sport and in Corsa. Rear wheel steering that we apply in Aventador S, is first, first of all, is a system that covers 
all the range of functionality of the car. And we have two different modes. One is uh, for the normal speed of the car, that uh, is uh, due to the counterface movement of the rear wheel compared to the front, is able to reduce the virtual uh, wheel base of more or less 500 millimeter. In this way, the car is much more agile, is much more reactive in the change of line and in change of the dynamic behavior of the car. When we go at high speed, we move the rear wheel in the same direction of the front wheel, and in this way, we increase the wheel base of one meter, and in this way, the car is much more stable, and you can go really at, mass, at maximum speed also in the big cornering that you can have in a highway or in some track. About uh, all these new features is important to be able to control and for this reason we have uh, introduced this new system that we call LDVA that is a system that from an electronic point of view is able to control all the parameters of the car starting from the steering, from the powertrain, from the suspension and also from the rear wheel steering and after moving also in ABS and SP means traction control and the control of the grip of every wheel is able to react in a fast way as possible, controlling all what happened in the chassis. It means to guarantee to the driver that is able really to achieve the best performance of the car in a best and safe way as possible. Yesterday was a great day for Lamborghini. We've launched the new Aventador S in the line of the success of this beautiful model that was launched in 2011. And it's by chance that uh, also yesterday, the 6,000 vehicle was in the line. We had a picture together with the guys of the assembly line. It was another moment that is showing what Lamborghini is doing uh, versus the future. Always connected with the tradition, always connected to fantastic product like the Aventador that is really is a milestone of uh, Lamborghini. But uh, with this car, we see new feature in terms of design, new feature in terms of uh, technology, 40 horsepower more, uh, rear wheel steering, uh, new gear shift application, new uh, way of uh, driving that will uh, enhance the technical quality of this car. So, you know, we are around Christmas time, so this is a great gift for all our customers and all our Lamborghini friends. 2016 has been an incredible year for Lamborghini. Uh, we set all records in terms of uh, figures. And this is, uh, you know, the first step that uh, is uh, taking our company versus the future. 2017 will represent an, another uh, very challenging year on which we're going to launch new product and uh, on which we're going to prepare uh, our dimension for the game changer uh, that, uh, that Uros represent for Lamborghini. So another excitement challenge that uh, we feel it here in Lamborghini uh, very, very well. And uh, we are looking forward to be there and uh, to show to all our customers what uh, is the Lamborghini of the future.